What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we got another test drive going on. Um, this one is a 1974 Camaro with the early 70s look. You may notice that throughout the video and you can leave it down in the comments if you caught what has been changed out. I know there's going to be a million comments about that. We had a Camaro earlier last week that a lot of people were like, oh, it's got this and that and that. Well, you're correct. But this one was born a 74. Of course, throughout the video, I'm going to go over every inch of this car. This one's got a 400 under the hood. It's also got power steering, power brakes, aluminum radiator, and this motor is going to be fast. So we should have a pretty fun test drive here. There is detailed pictures inside, out, and underneath at maplemotors.com. And of course, halfway through the video, see a lit undercarriage section. Uh, and at the end, picking out the flaws where I go over every chip and scratch. We do have financing and shipping. We also have all of our inventory located at maplemotors.com. It helps me out when you hit subscribe and share this channel. And everybody's asking about the shirts. You can find apparel online and multiple designs. Here on premises, we don't really have that many. We have one design and a very limited amount. So for now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, we'll check out the interior on this one, but I do need you to place bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a game we play on the channel, just yeah, a guessing game. Let's see who wins that one. Uh, it's showing 78,000 miles on the dash. Hard to stand behind that in a 74 model. We got aftermarket tack here. Aftermarket gauges below with the water oil and battery. Um, window control there, power. This is like early 2000 model seats, I assume, out of a Camaro. So, looking around in the back. I think the same with the back seats. Those look like later model back seats. Uh, your package tray does need a little help, needs a new cover for it. Your panels look good on the sides and your headliner is completely missing. So you do need a headliner in this car. It's, along with your visors, they look a little, like they need to be recovered. So let's go ahead and start this one up. She is cold right now. some of the vitals here. Tilt column on this one. But it doesn't tilt very well, so yeah, the tilt column may need a little help. Wipers. They may be stuck. We'll try them out, hold on. Blower motor. Blower motor's not cutting on either. Giving the wipers a chance there. And they're not doing anything, so they're gonna need some repair. Windows? That's not actually hooked up. We've got crank windows in here you can see and this switch is just a dummy switch I assume it's not gonna be uh, hooked up at all because I actually cranked the window down <laughs> all right horn did you place your bets does it work no no horn on this one let's go ahead and hit the road and we'll find out how she runs and drives okay getting ready to take off here of course anything I see you'll know about it Feels good. Take a shift there. Another shift. Testing the brakes. They feel okay. They're not too bad. This car's definitely got some get up and go. Plenty of power there. Testing the brakes again. Not bad. Plenty of grip and plenty of power there. This motor sounds awesome. Staying nice and cool too. Motor is just below 180. Straight as an arrow going down the road. It's not pulling and the steering is tight. We're 
definitely going to creep on over to the gas station because I want to put about $20 worth of fuel in this ride. And then we'll move over to the parking lot and get some outside shots, some undercarriage stuff. And continue to have a little bit of fun. All right. Suspension's a little bit bumpy, as you can see when we come into the parking lot there. I have a whole nother spot to test suspensions now, so we're going to go across the street and figure that out, but $20 worth of premium fuel first. Right now, the gas gauge is buried in the E, so we'll see what it comes up to. I'll be right back. Okay, $20 worth of premium fuel in this ride here. It goes in right behind the tag. So, pretty much five gallons. Got premium fuel. I like the seats. They actually look pretty good in here. And the gas gauge. Is that before we got here? Turn the key on. Is it gonna come on up? Yeah, it's creeping up. We should get past the half a tank. Let's go ahead and start it. Yeah, it's shot on up now. It's past half a tank. Cool. roll out of here heading on back to the lot now
lights on the bridge here. You can listen. Suspension's okay. Still pretty smooth, just a little bit on the stiff side. I'm impressed with this one. This was nice and smooth. Let's go ahead and skip on over to picking out the flaws. We're pulling back into Maple Motors right now. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later. I'm here to pick out the flaws. We're gonna walk around this car here. Any kind of rust, dents, scratches, whatever there is, you'll know about it. 100 detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. And again, people are always asking about the shirts and stuff. We have merchandise online. We have different designs. Go check that out at maplemotors.com. Under merchandise or below in the description, you can actually uh, click the link. Let's go. Coming around the front here. Nice, clean, chrome bumper in the front. You can see down on the lower portion, there's a little crack there. Little spot here. A little bit of surface stress trying to come through. Headlight bezels are in great shape. Little rust bubbles popping up there in the front. The stripes, they can be better. Couple bubbles, cracks in the paint right there, you can see. Down this lower portion, up and over the fender. You got rust bubbles in the front corner of the door here on the driver's side. What did I pick up? Some spider webs? Little bubble there on the back side of the door too. A little, little rubber back here. Armor all more than less. We're spinning the tires. Back in mid-section, you got a few spots there in the paint. I'm not sure what that is. You can see them coming down the side here. Little spots up under the paint. You see them little... It's not wiping off easy. Okay, coming back here mid-section, you got a little spot here. Crack up under the door handle there. Little spot here. Little spot there. And there. Also there. Get some real light specks on the windshield. Some of them are coming off. I think that's wax or something. Yeah, it's all coming off, so. Other than that, you got a little scuff here on the windshield. Your trim's got a couple little dings, scuffs. Mirror looks good, seal looks awesome around the door. Little crack in the paint up there. Back windshield looks good, some scuffs up top here. You can see some blotches where how they or the paint lines is what it is. You can kind of see them up there, a little bit darker spots. Coming around the back. Back bumper on this one's in pretty good shape. Pretty clean. Same with your tail lights. The corner there has got a crack in the paint.
see in your jams here. A little wrinkly there in the corner. Some chips up here. The seal looks good. Some chips over in this corner too where it's kind of cracking on the paint. A little rust here. Also right up in here. Looking down in the trunk here. You got a patch. Extra speaker wire. See the weld spots. They patched up something here. To make that rear end work there, or the back tail lights. Looking up in the package tray, it's in pretty good shape. Like I said, it's got early 70s stuff on it, but it is a 74. Looking in the trunk lid. Coming down there. A little wrinkly up under the stripes there. Coming down this side, lower portion, back your midsection. Chip there. Little bubbles in the corner here. section a little spot in the paint a little spot there and in there and over the back here Like scratches here on the window. Cracks on the mirror there. Your pillar. The roof looks good. Little crack here. spot there in there okay we made it around the ride let's go ahead and open her up and check out the inside door panel on this one's not too bad you got a little bit of a string hanging up here on top and the bottom piece down here has got some little issues little speaker missing seal looks good bottom of the door is not bad on this one pretty clean same with the inside of the jam and the carpet looks good Package tray needs to be redone, as you can see. Headliner definitely needs to be redone. There's not even one up there. Reaching in here and turning the key. It's a little bit high on the idle, but the engine temperature's been staying right at 200 even with the high idle. That could be tamed down just a hair.
motor's running nice and smooth, a very strong motor. Barely getting it to turn. It's tight in there. That idle could come down just a hair. Not a big deal. Make sure to tighten that up good. Nice and clean up under the hood. Gonna wiggle it back and forth, a little stiff on the hinges. Good shot. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and share this video. That'll help us out quite a bit. There's detailed pictures and financing at maplemotors.com. You can also find out a big about us section. There's a playlist below. Car's currently available. And if you like the video, hit subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you later.